All right, let's get straight into this. I've tried so many times to try to cover several different uh, options, but I think we're just going to have to, for the time, we're just going to have to get straight into the the build of the Pathfinder French Press. Now, um, you could probably use different brands. I'm not sure. I found this particular brand at Walmart today is is the small french press i've owned one of these same small version for about two and a half three years now hasn't given me any issues whatsoever um this is a great option if uh, you already own one of these french presses because we're not going to use the glass container so you can put that in the cabinet aside and on a rainy day when yours breaks in the sink or the dishwasher or whatever um you know you you'll have a replacement there now, uh, I found this for uh, $14.84. Another part of this build that you're going to need is probably run down to Home Depot or Lowe's or one of the big box stores. And this particular one's from Home Depot. It's Everbuilt brand. It's a nylon spacer. The dimensions are 0 0.328 inches for the inside diameter, which is important, and then half inch outside diameter. And it was one inch long, but I've cut it down several times doing some testing. Now, um, this is a great option if you can find one of these at a thrift store or on sale, or if you already own one and then you have something, uh, a different style of coffee maker that you prefer at the house when you have electricity, and this has just been sitting in your cabinet uh, rotting away, um, this is a really good option. And especially if you already own the Pathfinder bottle and cup set now uh, Dave put a video out about three years ago and he was uh, going through some some wet gear from a class in Texas or Florida one and he was uh, doing also some some product testing for a French press he was looking at having manufactured for the self-reliance outfitter webpage now since then and maybe I've missed something but I haven't seen anything uh, else come out about that I haven't seen I've looked several times and haven't seen anything on the on the website so if I could have purchased one from him I, I probably would have done that and, and supported him but uh but i couldn't find it so i went to the next best option build it myself so i'm going to take this i'm going to set this measuring cup to this measuring uh device to the side i'm also going to set this aside i have the same model so when my glass finally kicks the bucket and gets uh knocked off the counter or something i'm going to have an extra so i'm not going to throw that away now you could use this just as it is on its own. It fits perfectly with a little bit of movement here. But we're going to fix that. So what we're going to do is disassemble this. Take this piece off here and this is great because this compact this comes down very compact it leaves a very uh, small footprint in your in your pack pull this uh, plunger rod here out and you want to make sure that you get the the small version of this because if you get the tall version although the, the these screens and everything are probably the same size and the same uh, you know diameter and it will still probably fit in this cup you don't want the large one because that's going to have a longer plunger on it so you'll have a lot more sticking up out of your cup by the time you get done after you press it all the way down you'll have more sticking out uh so using the small one is going to cut down on your weight and it's also going to cut down on your your footprint as far as when you pack it away now there's a small plastic piece here and it's got a jaw on it I'm going to take this and a pair of pliers. We're going to squeeze those jaws together and push that plastic out. You see it protrude right here some. 
So we'll just use a little bit of elbow grease and pull that apart. Don't use your, lose your plastic here. Now you can use this on its own. This stainless lid snaps on pretty well to your Pathfinder cup. You can flip it upside down, pour your coffee out. That lid's not popping off. But you do have some play here. So to get rid of that, what we're going to do, we're going to take this lid off. We're going to put this plastic piece with that jaw back in. Insert that. Now, I took a measurement and I cut a piece of this uh, nylon spacer a half inch and then I had to sand it down on this file just a little bit and it's down to about with knocking the burr off and everything it's down to about 7 16 so with that burr gone and it's at the proper dimension now I can take this nylon spacer slide it over this plastic piece press it down and that's going to snap in place so now if I want to get this off I'm going to have to squeeze it back together and pull it out that's not going anywhere all right now I'm going to take this plunger rod stick it back down in this hole and it's a tight fit here so I'm going to turn it and thread it until it gets past those threads now it can easily slide back and forth there's no more play in it than it was when it was factory with this piece here now we can reassemble our screen And filters and you can see by the way that this packs down especially if you pull this rod out it leaves such a small footprint um, you could pack this away in your small bush punt and it's not going to take up a whole lot of extra space so now you can pour your uh, coffee grounds in here your boiling water Put your timer on, let everything steep, and then you can put your French press attachment onto your Pathfinder bottle. Let it, the lid snap around your cup, and then grabbing the back handles, you can use your hole here that you use for your fish mouth spreader for hanging your pot to pour as a spout to pour your coffee out and uh, I think this is a really really good viable option and uh, as Dave mentioned in his video you can use this for a lot more than just making coffee you could use this for making uh, decoctions and fusions uh, for different teas and things like that because uh, and I like that option because this is such a finer mesh for your filter um, you don't have to worry about a small piece particulates of bark or leaf or whatever coming through these holes on your uh on either one of your lids really um and so so that's a really good option if you don't have the pathfinder bottle already i highly suggest it uh if you're looking for just a french press option and you don't have uh any of these if uh, you have a good means of conveyance then Snow Peak has a good uh, French press. There's AeroPress, as we have here. Uh, there's Wide C. Stanley has a lot of great options for making uh, coffee. And there's another company on Amazon, which I'm kind of interested in trying out. And their name on Amazon is Best Target, B E S T A R G O T, and it's kind of like a small bush pot with a with a, a bell handle and a French press attachment just like this um, so that's uh, that's kind of the uh, the Pathfinder bottle French press hack so I hope you guys liked it um, the French press itself was 1484 you get this uh, this spacer here for about 88 cents when I priced it purchased it today so you're not gonna break the bank on this project 
and uh, it's a pretty good option. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope that you can do this project and it works out for you. Something else that you could use this for, since this is a polished stainless, you could also use this as a reflective device. If for some reason you lost your compass or mirror, you could use this. I can see myself very well, especially up close. Use it as a first aid device, signaling device. Many different uses. Um, just let your imagination run. So, let me know what you guys think.